Hello, my name is Hans George Campbell, and on today's episode of the Hans Campbell Show, I want to talk about a recent eBay experience. Okay, um, I recently purchased this um, Andenstar AD106S USB digital microscope from an eBay seller. Uh, his name is UK Homeware uh, DIY. Okay. And um, I decided that, okay, I needed a digital microscope in my repair shop um, for, like, examining the traces around the battery area of Amiga 2000 motherboards and also for doing, like, recaps on vintage uh, Macintosh computers or Amiga 600, Amiga 1200, Amiga 4000 computers, you know. This would be a perfect thing to have for doing surface mount um, repair, you know, soldering, unsoldering, things like that. Um, so, yeah, I decided, well, I need to get myself one of these digital microscopes. And the Andenstar AD106S apparently is one of the top ten digital microscope. So I, I decided, yeah, that's what I want. I want to get an Andon Star um, microscope. So I purchased this one for $74. And I got it today in the mail. A very quick shipping. I have to admit that. It was, I, it was within, I got it within like two or three days after buying it. Um, what I'm not happy with is that it's not an Andon Star. It looks identical to what is pictured, but it doesn't have the Anden Star name on the microscope unit itself or on the documentation. I'll show that in a moment. Um, anyway, let me show this ad. First of all, it says, it clearly says Anden Star, AD106S. And it does say AD106S on a label on the back of the unit, but it does not have and and star here printed on the front of the unit okay everything else though is basically the same now I don't know if this is a China knockoff because even here in the picture it doesn't say and and star in the manual but it clearly says it right up here on the unit itself now, I have worked in electronics manufacturing for over 25 years. And so what I think happened was, you know, China, they make a lot of stuff for different companies. I mean, a lot of companies, well, most companies, even Commodore back in the day, they didn't produce their own stuff. They would have... Uh, manufacturing plants make the stuff for them. Like for instance, a good example of that would be the Commodore monitors. Uh, Commodore themselves did not make the CRT monitors. Okay, The monitors were made by uh, Hitachi in Japan or they were made by Magnavox. Okay, And these, these monitor manufacturers would would place the Commodore name on the monitor itself and on the box that the monitor was ship, shipped in. Okay, but the monitors themselves were not made by Commodore. They were made by either Hitachi in Japan or they were made by Magnavox and then later on they were also made by Philips and uh, other 
CRT monitor manufacturers. So I think the same thing has happened here. Um, I don't know if this Anden Star company is still in business, but apparently, um, well, what I think happened, what I personally think happened, is that Anden Star they either went out of business or they no longer are they no longer want this product produced for them. And yet China, they still have this plant, this manufacturing facility set up to produce these. So what they probably decided to do, well, okay, we'll go ahead and continue making these digital microscopes, but we'll sell them as unbranded. They are and in star microscopes. They have the same model number, but they won't have the Anon Star label on them. They'll be sold as unbranded. Now, I don't have a problem with that. And if the eBay seller, if they would have said that, I probably would have still bought from them. If, if they would have said something like, okay, this is the same microscope, I mean, it is an Anon Star microscope without the name brand. In other words, it's unbranded. But it's the same microscopes that we made for Andon Star. It's just that it doesn't have their name on it. And I would have been completely fine with that. I would have understood that, you know. But they clearly state right here that it's Andon Star, okay, which it's not. And even in this picture right here, it says it has an Andon Star label right on the microscope. And you'll see in a moment that no, it's not an Andon Star bike, so it does not have that label on it. Okay, so I consider this fraud. I really do. But I'm not sure, and that's the reason why I'm making this video, because I want you guys to let me know in the comments section down below, okay, what do you think, you know, about this experience? I mean... Um, if if you look down here, they say under brand it's unbranded. Okay, but the way they did this listing, I think is is fraudulent. I think it's misleading, you know, because they clearly said and and star, and it's not. It doesn't have that label on the documentation or on the main unit itself. And also, I didn't check the feedback before I bought this. But if you look at their feedback, okay, they've gotten five negatives in the past month, 22 negatives in the past six months, 39 negatives in the past 12 months. Okay, so let's take a look at these, these negatives. Okay. Now, I know that that's not that many negatives compared to how many feedbacks they've gotten. They've gotten like over 4,000 feedbacks. But still, that's a lot of negatives. You know, I know that eBay goes by a percentage of negatives compared to positives. And so they probably won't do anything with this eBay seller. They probably won't do anything. Because eBay is in it strictly for the money. I mean, they make a lot of money off this seller, this China seller. You know. But yeah, just look at this. Yeah. And here's another thing. Okay, if you go to eBay, right, and you type in the And and Star search, all of these microscopes that come up, I say I say at least ninety, ninety five percent of them. Even though it's different seller names, it's all the same seller. It's all the same seller. And that right there to me is a red flag. Okay. Like, we'll click on this one. Okay. It's best deal. Wow. Okay. But Rollin Heights, California. Just remember that name. Best deal. Wow. And they too have negative feedback. Okay, Rollin Heights, California. All right, 
And then we check under this one. Same thing, Rollin Heights, California. Okay, but now it's Hot Bid 8088, and they too have negative feedback. Just look at that negative feedback and, and the neutrals too. 22, you know, look, just look at that. It's the same seller, only different seller names on, on eBay. And then th who I bought it from is this one here. Same thing. Rollin Heights, California, but now it's UK Homeware uh, DIY. Okay, and the list goes on. I mean, this to me is very shady. It's very shady. Very shady. And I really don't know what to do about this. I don't, I mean, I feel like giving this seller a negative feedback. But what he's going to do is he's going to um, blacklist my name to where I cannot buy from any of his companies. Because apparently this seller owns a lot of different companies in China. And I do a lot of business from China. I buy a lot of, a lot of electronic parts and stuff uh, from China. I don't want my name blackballed or whatever, you know. Because, I, I don't know, I really don't know what to do on this. I'm thinking about just not leaving any feedback at all. Because I don't want to burn this bridge. Because like I said, I buy a lot of electronic parts from China. I mean, most of them come from China. And I don't want to piss off these people to the point to where they blacklist my name, to where I can't buy from any other China companies, you know. So I'm not going to leave any, any feedback at all. That's I think, would be my best course of action. But I don't like what, what I see here. I don't like what's going on here. And I'm sure that you guys watching this video, you're probably thinking all kinds of thoughts, you know. So let me know down in the comments section uh, what you think. I mean, what would you do, you know. And, uh, yeah, just, just let me know. And so now I'm going to take you over to my shop, and we'll take a look at this uh, Andenstar microscope that I got. Okay? See you shortly. Okay, um, we're out here in my shop, and this is the, supposedly, the Andrustar USB digital um, microscope. Um, let me get my pointer. The stand here is all aluminum aluminum even the uh, the wheel right here for tightening this where you want it and also the adjustment wheels here for raising and lowering the microscope um, it has nice big rubber feet on the bottom so it's it's the stand is is pretty good quality it's all aluminum and metal um, the LED it has LED lighting the only thing I don't like about the LED lighting is that it's cool white instead of warm white. But other than that, it's got the LED lighting with the gooseneck. You can adjust this. Um, there's also LED lighting around the main microscope lens you know, objective itself inside here. Okay. Um, this right here is your focusing adjustment. Okay. Um, it's got, I think, 4x zoom, if I remember reading correctly. It's got 4x zoom. It goes up to 500 power, 500x, which is is plenty of power for, for what I'm going to be using this, uh, this microscope for. I'm just mainly going to be using it for doing surface mount work, you know, fine pitch work or recapping um, vintage Macintosh computers, um, uh, Amiga 600, Amiga 1200, and Amiga 4000 computers. I'll be repairing those and, and recapping them. Um, I'm also going to be using this to examine 
the traces around the battery area of Amiga 2000 motherboards. So to make sure that nothing has happened to those traces, you know, and if and if there is something wrong with the traces, then I can see it, and I can add patch wiring. Um, with the microscope, it's got a protective thing here that I'll peel off, you know, once I get ready to use the uh, the microscope. Um, it comes with this remote right here. It comes comes with this remote. Okay. Um, yeah, comes with the remote. Comes with this USB power adapter. Okay. Comes with the double, the three M double sided, um, double sided tape. And that's for securing the the UV filter, which is this, onto you know in front of the main objective. And this is important. It is, it is important that you mount this because this will protect the main microscope optics, you know, the main objective there, uh, from the fumes of of the soldering iron. You don't want the fumes getting up in there. It could actually ruin the optics. So you definitely want to make sure that you mount this. Okay. And then this is the regular, I think it's mini USB, the USB cable. I think this is what you use if you want to transfer the images or your video to the computer. You can also just eject the micro SD card and just plug it into an adapter and plug it in the USB port of your computer and you can do it that way too. Um, I think this is also used like if you want to plug in the microscope into your computer via the USB port. You can actually see what's what's on under the microscope on a larger monitor like your computer's uh, display. Okay. And then this is the main cord that comes with it. Uh, the main cord that comes with it. This plugs into the base. This is for lighting up the LED, you know, the gooseneck uh, LED lamps. Uh, this plugs into the top of the, the microscope. This uh, plugs into the power adapter. And then this here, um, this is the sort of like the cable remote. Um, this here is your on off switch and these two control the brightness of the lamps. So there's the cabling. And then this here is the manual and, and as you can see this and in the star is not anywhere on this manual. Okay as well as it's not anywhere on the front of this microscope you know but yeah I other than that I think it is good quality I think it's gonna work out really well for what I need it for um, there's plenty of room for me to to work you know with my soldering iron and my tools because I can move the, the lamps back if I need to um, I may wind up taking these off. I'm not sure yet because I got plenty of light on my workbench here, and there's LEDs. There's like a, I think eight LEDs around the main objective that shines on on your work. So I may wind up removing these. I don't know yet. I may I may wind up removing these. Another thing I'm planning on doing is there's not enough surface area on this table here. So what I'm probably going to wind up doing, let me get something, is using like a couple of one by ones like this, okay, like this, and then having like a piece of, like a quarter inch piece of wood or half inch piece of wood going across like this has been nicely primed and painted so this is perfect. Uh, and then that would give me more service area. Uh, for my boards, and it'll be a little bit deeper too. It'll be, probably be around 
uh, one foot deep by 18 inches long, and that should be plenty big enough for most of the boards I'm going to be working on. You know, so yeah, but that's what I'm planning on doing because I want to make the table just a little bit larger. Um, another thing I could do instead of using the one by ones, they're, they're three quarter inch by three quarter inch is what it is, and a piece of wood going across. I might custom make like uh, take a three quarter inch piece of melamine because it's got that smooth white surface, right? and then cut out an opening, a rectangular opening, in the center of that melamine that the microscope base would just drop into. And this should be about level with the top of that melamine. You know, so I could do it that way too. In fact, I'll probably wind up doing that. Um, but yeah, I need to extend the size of this table. Other than that, I think this is going to work out really well. And uh, you guys, I mean, this right here, I can plug in a micro SD card into this, into the microscope itself. And I can take snapshots, I can take pictures of what, whatever is underneath the microscope, as well as I can record video. So when I get ready to show you guys how to properly unsolder and solder surface mount parts, it will be under mag the magnification of this microscope here. Because I've, I've watched a lot of videos on YouTube and most of the people that are sh that are showing these videos that, tr that are trying to show you how to uh, unsolder and solder surface mount components, they don't know what they're doing, and they're doing it wrong. And so I'm going to show you guys a proper way to do it. Okay? Uh, so stay tuned for those videos. Anyway, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do, because I've got literally hundreds of more videos uh, coming soon, mainly vintage computer related and uh, video gaming related videos. So you know, subscribe to my channel so you can you can uh, uh, watch all this wonderful content. But yeah, you'll be seeing more of this microscope in future videos. Anyway, my name is Hans George Campbell, and until next time.